kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video tutorial on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part fifteen of my video series. Okay, okay, guys. So now we will continue from where we had left. So right now in this video, first of all, let's just continue. So here we 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 will try to uh, update the user uh, status. Like if the user opens the application, then we should set its status to online. And if he closes the app, then the status then the status should be offline. So here we have the two. We will use the two uh, cycle methods of the activity life cycle so here first of all we have the on resume and then we have the on pause okay so whenever the application will resume or application will open so we will try to just uh, set the, the status to online so i just write status and here we put online we create a method and similarly for the pause method we say offline all right so in this way we can know if the user is uh, already uh, online or not so for that we will just create a new uh, method so public or i think it should be private i think private void status and in here we have to pass on string and there we can okay so now right now we will have the reference so we will try to change the reference fp user okay so we will create a database reference here db ref user and then we can simply say db ref user Go to file base database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and in here we have to pass on users dot child and the user dot get user id all right and after that we will use the hash map and there we will have the string and the object and then we can say hash map equal to new hash map and then we can say hash map dot put and here we will put the status and we will pass on our status object here and then we can simply say reference sorry db ref user dot update children and in here we just have to pass on our hash map hash map yes okay guys so that is enough for our this uh, home screen activity so now we will try to work on the profile activity so let's go there and there we already since we already have the fragment so we will have to create the xml file or i think we already have created it so for that let me just remove it from this is this line and here we will write View view equal to inflator dot inflate or dot layout dot fragment profile. Then we will have the container and finally we will pass on false. Then we can say return view. Okay, so now we will create this fragment profile. and here we will have fragment profile okay so now here we will work on this uh, fragment profile so guys i think guys we will try to work it in the next part of the video so the next part will be only on the fragment uh, profile fragment activity so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye